Hello everyone, I am Trishwant. This is a demo video of our final year project. Our project name is Autism Spectrum Disorder Classification using Deep Learning. Uh, we are from RMB College of Engineering and Technology and our batch members are Vinay, Sumant, Mahesh. We did this project under the guidance of Dr. Pravina, ma'am and the Associate Professor, Department of Electronics and Communication. Basically, this project is about uh, autism uh, detection uh, using deep learning. We are going to detect the autistic people uh, with the help of deep learning techniques. As autism spectrum disorder is a complicated condition where people with uh, autism finds difficult uh, to communicate with others and they, al they also behave differently from normal ones. It can autism spectrum uh, disorder involves wide range of symptoms and skills it is a minor problem but uh, auti but the, uh, people with autism should be uh, well taken care of you can see that children with autism and children without autism there is a slight change uh, in the face with the, uh, with the uh, for the children with autism uh, and the people without autism so uh, According to the World Health Organization, uh, about uh, 1 in 100 children has autism and uh, characteristics may be detected from uh, early childhood but autism is often not diagnosed until much later. So our project mainly focused on this sentence which is that uh, detection of autism at very young age will be helpful for the children so that uh, they can uh, develop their communication and social skills and uh, uh, the, which will uh, uh, impact their life in a positive life and they can live a normal life uh, causes of autism spectrum disorders there are many factors that make a child more likely to have autism including environmental and genetic factors according to the epidemiological data conclude that there is no evidence of a casual association between measles mumps and rubella vaccine and autism previous studies suggesting a link between them is found to be methodological flaws so there is no evidence to suggest that any childhood vaccine may increase the risk of autism so children can take uh, any vaccines it is also concluded that the vaccines do not increase the risk of autism assessment and care should be taken for the autistic children a broad range of interventions from the early childhood and across the lifespan can optimize the development health and well-being and quality of an autistic people timely access to early evidence like a detection of autism at a very at a very young age based on psychological interventions can improve the ability of autistic children to communicate effectively and interact socially the monitoring of child development as a part of routine maternal and child health care is recommended it is it is also important that once autism has been diagnosed children adolescents and adults with autism and their cares are offered relevant information services referrals and practical support in accordance with their individual and evolving needs and preference the data for this project is collected from kaggle kaggle has autism data uh, which contains more than 2500 images uh, as, as you can see there are more than uh, 1300 images for autistic children and uh, in the same way there are more than uh, 1300 images of uh, non-autistic children uh, with the help of these images we are, we are trying to find uh, the child is autistic or not we are using google collab from the first cell uh, you can see we have imported required libraries from the second cell you can see that uh, we are mounting google drive uh, what we are doing is we are connecting google drive with the google collab so that uh, we can uh, upload and import a required uh, images from the google drive in this cell uh, we have uh, defined a path uh, to import uh, images from the google drive and uh, every image is uh, read with the help of cv2 library and uh, every image uh, should be resized and labeled autistic uh, images are labeled with a zero and uh, non-autistic labeled or non-artistic images are labeled with a one and uh, after that uh, every list is converted into an array so that uh, this array is e easily inserted into the architecture here we can see that if an image is fed into the architecture the architecture uh, the algorithm or the architecture will show 
uh, the will label the image and uh, according to that uh, we can uh, decide the child is autistic or not is non autistic if the if the if the image is labeled as one the child is non autistic and if the image if the child, if the image is labeled as zero uh, then the child is autistic in this project you are trying to fit the image that is set with different deep learning architectures and trying to find which 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 is the best architecture which which architecture gives the best performance matrix so that uh, that architecture can be used uh, to find uh, the child is autistic here we have used and tried different architectures the are vgg16 vgg19 dressnet inception v3 and alexnet let us see how we have implemented vgg16 architecture first as usual we have imported the required libraries and we also have we also have mounted the google drive then we also imported the required uh, libraries that are uh, to implement the vgg16 architecture then we put the size is 220 224 Uh, that should be uh, fixed for vgg16 architecture and then we load the images after that we call the uh, predefined vgg16 model and we feed the trained data into it and here i am giving 50 approaches uh, then i i, I have given for i have I have done this for 10 approaches 20 approaches but uh, the 50 approaches gives me the best results from this confusion matrix one can easily observe the true positive and false negative is higher which shows the architecture is architecture shoots best uh, for a classification of autism as it is a binary classification uh, vgg16 best shoots for it uh, we can see the rboc curve of vgg16 architecture here class 0 represents the autistic ones and class 1 represents non autistic one similarly like vgg16 Uh, we have implemented vgg19 architecture for the uh, kaggle dataset and try to find the matrix and try to to get the best architecture we have done the same thing like vgg16 architecture but instead of uh, initializing vgg16 we have initialized vgg19 architecture and run the dataset here also we have uh, split the dataset 80 and 20% that means 80% goes for training and 20% goes for testing and same performance matrix we have defined here from this confusion matrix we can also see that uh, vgg19 is also a good uh, architecture uh, this architecture also uh, gives a best result uh, which uh, that means that this architecture classifies the autistic ones and not autistic ones one can clearly say that vgg16 is a better architecture than vgg19 for classifying the uh, required data set similarly like vgg16 and vgg19 we have implemented the different architectures like alexnet inception v3 and dressnet and we have calculated and we have find the roc curves and uh, confusion matrix from the confusion matrix of alexnet and from the confusion matrix of uh, inception v3 you can find that these two architectures are not best fit for our data set from the dressnet uh, architecture from the confusion matrix of resnet architecture we can say that it classifies our data set in an efficient manner to make it clear we have taken the performance matrix of every implemented architecture and we have also taken the confusion matrices and roc curves of every implemented architecture from this table we can observe that vgg16 architecture is best as it gives a better testing accuracy here in this table one can observe the time for approach and total time for 50 approaches we can easily say that alexnet uh, taken the very less time and vg16 also taken the less time input size of every data set we have given to the architecture or same that is 2654 2654 images from the confusion matrix of vg16 we can observe that it is it efficiently classifies the data as true positive is more and also the false negative is more other than vgg16 resnet also classifies the data efficiently 
from the RBC curves we can also see that VG16 classifies efficiently after VG16 testnet gives a better result about 0.98% thanks for watching